I really love this time of year because we have a really fantastic opportunity with being after the holidays to reset the way that you are fueling your body and perhaps take on more movement to improve your fitness in 2020. Today's conversation, I wanted to talk a little bit about how you can get started if you are not already doing something in your nutrition. Next week's podcast, we're going to talk a little bit about the science behind high intensity interval training, hit workouts, and how you can incorporate this into your daily schedule with, with ease, right? Uh, but today I want to talk to you about how you can level up the way you fuel your body if you're not already doing so, or if you are on track to reset, detox, um, optimize your nutrition, that this can be a way to maybe add a little bit more to your current game. Today we're going to be talking about green shakes. Green shakes are an amazing way to boost your metabolism, add some nutrient density, and really shake things up the way that you're fueling your body. So I do a green shake challenge every single week. This is an amazing way that my clients have reset their metabolism, not only after times like the winter holidays, but that they can add in continuously. That is a sustainable way to fuel your body well. So I wanted to firstly invite you to do a seven day green shake challenge with me. This is seven days of amazing, delicious, nutrient dense shakes that you can add in every single day to boost your metabolism, promote body fat loss, and to just shake things up and Feel your body better every single day. So join the challenge if this is something that interests you, whether you're already on your 2020 goal journey or not. This is a good way to either get started, reset, or just amp up the way you're doing things now. Join me at www.katherinetanaka.com slash green shake challenge. Now I wanted to get into some of the things that you can do and what it looks like to add a green shake in a day. I believe that finding a habit to add in every single day is an excellent way to start optimizing some of the ways that you fuel your body. If you can add in this one shake a day mentality, one simple habit to move you forward to your better self a little bit more than you were doing yesterday, this is a great way to set you on the trajectory, on the path to feeling your best. So the reason why I wanted to put this together in our 2020 kickoff series is to kind of allow you some more bandwidth and learn that you can kickstart the way that you're doing your mornings, kickstart the first meal of your day especially after last week, speaking about intermittent fasting, a green shake is a good way to break your fast, right? I didn't really touch on breaking your fast and how you can support your digestion and your nutrition in this way. So this is a really good conversation of how you can break your fast if you are going to test intermittent fasting after last week's podcast. So a green shake is a really great way, reason being it's an easily digestible, high bioavailable bioavailability way of introducing some nutrients into your system after fasting. So what is a green shake? So simply put, it is looking at all your macronutrients of carbohydrates, proteins, and fats, and incorporating that into a yummy green shake, literally blending up these three different components in various forms to give yourself a really great nutrient dense shake. So what does that look like? So what I like to do is add in a really great green in a whole food form. I like organic spinach, which is really easy on your system. I like either kale or Swiss chard that is a little bit more of a deeper dive into greens, um, but it can be really anything you have in your fridge, right? If you have some kale in your fridge, if you have some uh, broccoli, if you have uh, cucumber, even something like celery in your fridge. This is a great green that you can add in. If you are going to take this on in the Green Shake Challenge, I recommend starting with something like spinach. So 
It's adding a green, adding a really good protein source. And it could be as simple as getting some Greek yogurt out of your fridge and adding that in. Or it can be something a little bit more nutrient dense that's bioavailable and really caters to what your body can function really well on, something like a lactose-free whey protein. Um, or it can be a completely vegan protein, like something like a Sun Warrior powder that is amazing in bioavailability, bioavailability, meaning that your body can absorb the nutrients really well through the digestion process. And then you can add in a good fat. This can be of the, in the form of coconut oil, MCT oil. You can add in some ghee. It can be some, uh, I really love adding in coconut or avocado into my green shakes uh, as a way to boost up some of the good fat and the nutrient density that we add into our systems. This is, like I was saying, a really great way to start your day, a really great way to replace breakfast or an afternoon snack, as well as a great way to break your fast if you are trying on intermittent fasting for yourself, like we spoke about last week. Now, I have been running a Green Shake Challenge for, I don't know, three or four years now that has been tremendously successful in the way that people look at food as fuel, and that has kind of transform the way that people do breakfast and the way that people feel in their bodies, right? So I wanted to share with you some of the benefits that my clients that have done the Green Shake Challenge have obtained from themselves. So let me break it out <clears throat> down into five things that they have found for themselves. The first is nutrient density. Now, it may sound like what are you talking about, Catherine? What is nutrient density? So nutrient density is the amount of nutrients and the uh, phytonutrients and all the minerals and vitamins that you obtain within one meal. For green shakes, I believe it is the best bang for your caloric buck because when you add in greens, right, there's a lot of phytonutrients in greens, right? That's why there's always recommendations, add more vegetables and in, in greens into your diet because of the high nutrient content in something like Swiss chard or kale or spinach, right? So that's the first thing, amazing nutrient density in the greens that now you're consuming a lot of in your shake right? Adding in an amazing protein source really is a great way to start your day, right? Oftentimes, mostly more women than men, but I think across the board, oftentimes we don't get enough good balanced protein in our systems. Now, as a lot of us know, if you can remember back to grade 10 biology, you know, Protein is a building block of our cellular structure, a building block of our muscles, our skin, our brain, a lot of the way that we repair our bodies, right? And especially if you are taking on a fitness journey this year, or even if you're looking just to up level where you are from a fitness perspective in 2020, this is something to consider. Are you taking in enough protein to repair regrow, restore? And are you taking enough protein in to get leaner, to support your metabolism as you are on this fitness health journey? So protein adding in for nutrient density is amazing. And then looking at what else can you add into your green shake? So I love things like chia seeds. So chia seeds are incredible in nutrient density, incredible in fiber. It's also loaded with omegas, which is really good for cellular repair, really good for skin, really good for brain functioning, right? So from a nutrient density, best bang for your caloric buck, chia seeds or anything like that, like a flax seed is incredible for your system. Then you can dive a little bit deeper. Can you add in some fruits, right? Some berries maybe that a lot, again, has a lot of phytonutrients, phytochemicals for your system that help balance any free radicals, any cellular damage that happens just by living, right? Um, and also, can you add in a good fat? 
in the form of coconut oil, MCT oil, uh, coconut itself, maybe adding in flax oil uh, or even chia oil, right? Even olive oil sometimes is excellent. Avocado oil, can you add in a good fat that also helps with cellular repair, that also helps with metabolic health, that also helps balance our insulin levels in our system? Like I said, green shakes, adding in this entire profile of nutrient density is an incredible way to kick off your day. So the second thing that my clients love is that it really helps them reset their metabolism, especially if the holiday time was a period of indulging for you. Having green shakes is an amazing way to introduce balanced macro, macros, right? Really good fats, proteins and carbohydrates to get your system back to your metabolism revving up and saying, okay, we got this. We can get back on a good balanced way of fueling our bodies. Another thing that my clients have also spoken about that they absolutely love is that it has reset their sugar cravings. I mean, if you have done the green shake challenge before, you will know some of these recipes are like amazing staples in your day-to-day -day now, right? But these shakes, because they add in so many great components, but also foods that taste delicious, the green shakes, I know you think green, it must be disgusting, but these green shakes are literally incredibly yummy, right? And when you layer that on top of, you know, the nutrient density, the great macros, best bang for your calorie buck, and now you have this great tasting way to start your day, now your body is going to be like, okay, I feel really satisfied having this great nutrient density in the morning that is also a little bit sweet because of not artificial sweeteners, but because of some of the fruits that we add in, it resets and recalibrates the way that your body feels like they're tasting sugar, as well as how your metabolism is and your insulin level is being spiked in responding to food. So a lot of my clients, if not most of them, have reported that this has reset and recalibrated the way that their sugar cravings are. How is your skin after eating a lot of crappy stuff during the holiday? right? A lot of people maybe indulge a little bit more on sugar, fried food, alcohol, um, whatever your vice is during the holiday season. Well, did you know that a green shake can help clear up your skin? I don't know the exact magic to this, but when you're adding in nutrient density in your system and your body is able to metabolize well, and you're adding things that are supporting your gut health, your gut health is often responsible for a lot of what shows on in your shows up in your face and shows up in your body, right? And when you amp up your nutrient density in a way that is sustainable, one green shake a day, then your body starts responding and detoxing and cleansing in a natural fashion that all of a sudden your skin looks clearer. It's actually pretty amazing. So Take it on. If skin is your thing that you're trying to take on, green shakes are an amazing way because it does act like this amazing super hydration to your skin. You're fueling your body, amazing nutrient density, and all of a sudden you're adding in two extra glasses of water per day on top of what I'm hoping for you to have really great hydration, right? And now your skin clears up from that beautiful hydration, that beautiful nutrient density. And if skin is one of your things, one of the great proteins that I use is by Age Quencher. Age Quencher was actually created as, as a beauty line, boosting beauty, right, from youth. But I use this in my protein and it is incredible incredible, incredible, incredible. I will link any details wherever you're watching this if you are interested in trying that out because I absolutely love it. And the final thing I wanted to touch on for you in terms of the benefits of a green shake is that it has shown to be an amazing catalyst for fat loss. Within seven days of my client's and the Green Shake participants taking on the Green Shake Challenge, people have lost up to seven pounds in seven days. Guys, 
Did you hear that? Seven pounds in seven days can be groundbreaking, can be incredibly instrumental in you releasing some extra body fat or if you were overindulging on the ho- during the holidays and you feel like you know now you've been having some sticking on to you some body fat sticking on to you green shakes are an incredible way to reset to detox to allow your body to just release some body fat so regardless if you are creating a new fitness vision for 2020 and fitness has not been your thing and nutrition has never been a forte. Or if you are on this humming path of amazing fitness, amazing nutrition, and you don't have a green shake in your repertoire yet, I invite you to do the challenge with us just to see how you're feeling. And if anything, get some amazing nutrient-dense recipes that my clients absolutely love. I would love for you to join the challenge. You can jump on today at www.katherinetanaka.com slash green shake challenge. I'm revamping the recipe it's this week. So they will be incredible for you to try on. As always, thank you for joining us this week, week after week in this podcast. Please rate, review, and subscribe. It helps us out immensely to make sure that we have a pulse on what is going on with you, to know that this is resonating with you and hopefully adding value into your life. Um, Next week on the podcast, we will be talking about high intensity interval training. I love this kind of fitness for especially working people that don't necessarily have the bandwidth to spend hours in the gym. This is a great balls to walls approach of getting in some fitness, leaning out, putting on some muscle mass, challenging your body that elicits some amazing fat burning results. Next week, I'm going to dive into the science behind HIIT training. I hope you will tune in so that you can know how you can use this effectively with the science in mind to up-level your fitness vision this year. As always, I appreciate your time. Thank you for joining me today. We'll see you next week. We'll see you next week. Bye for now.